Hi, I'm David Alvarez. I play Bernardo in West Side Story. I'm Paul Taswell. I was a costume designer for West Side Story, and, and this, this is, is Trade, Trade Secrets. Secrets. So, Paul, uh, how did you find yourself uh, working on West Side Story? Well, I uh, uh, was approached by Steven to Skype to have a meeting. I think that uh, I came on to his radar because of Hamilton, maybe. Stephen asked to speak with me, and I found out that it was about West Side Story, and, you know, I was, you know, so, so excited. Then, you know, after I calmed down, you know, realized that uh, it was going to be a challenge, but I was up for the task. From your perspective, uh, what is the role of a costume designer? One of the things you know, that uh, I realized early on was that costumes, the work that I do, uh, provides the first visual impact or you know, essence of character that an audience will get, you know, whether it's on film or television or a live performance. You know, it, it gives the audience uh, a glimpse into who this character might be in the same way that you know, we make judgments about people that are walking towards us on the street. You know, if we come across somebody that we don't know, we make a judgment about who they are, if they're a threat, what kind of personality they, they have. You know, making choices about costumes for characters, it's important that they are specific to how you want to tell their story because uh, the audience is gonna, you know, look at that as, you know, a, a clue into who that character is. What, what is one of the things that uh, people don't realize, one of the surprises that people don't realize that costumes bring to an actor's uh, process. I feel like costumes kind of set an atmosphere, bring you into the world of, of what you're trying to create. For example, for uh, Bernardo's character, there was this element of bringing out this classy side of him, but also bringing out this fighter side of him, this animalistic fighter side of him. And having, for example, the costumes in Dance at the Gym, completely different to what Bernardo is also wearing during the Rumble. And that kind of emphasizes the drastic changes that Bernardo goes through internally. So I think for me, each costume kind of gives you an idea of what the scene and the atmosphere of that scene is gonna be. And you know, the actor doesn't really have to do that much work. Everything around is, is being done for you to be able to step into the character and, and do what you have to do. You know, he has kind of a, a sartorial sense about him, you know, and a style about him that I think is reflective of that world of boxing. So it was great to be able to open that up a bit and give Bernardo some style. I mean, you, you wore those clothes very well. <laughs> those high waist pants, I love them. <laughs> I, was, I was afraid of them at first, but they worked <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, I, I'd like to know how you approached the costume designing for the characters of this film and what were your inspirations? I would say that, you know, I always start uh, you know, with, with the piece itself. Uh, and doing a lot of reading. And then I go directly to research, you know, and, and it, for this, there was a lot of photographs uh, of the period, different communities in and around New York City um, that I was able to uh, tap into. Uh, even the, the community of, of the gangs, you know, and, and you know, what would be reflective of the sharks and the jets. Uh, so I collected as many images as I could uh, and then, you know, presented those to Stephen and, you know, we had a lot of really in-depth conversations, of, you know, specific to the different characters and how he saw the different characters uh, and, and how they relate together. After I got more information about what was going on in his head and how he wanted to tell the story of West Side Story, went away and came back with costume sketches that were reflective of, you know, what his ideas were for Stephen. You know, was how, how does he relate to clothing? How does he re relate to these characters and the clothing that I'm presenting to him? Is there, David, one memory that you would say uh, you know, that sticks in your head uh, as far as our experience together, uh, you know, working together, costume designer to actor? Absolutely. Um, I, I definitely have a couple. I, I remember the first time I went to, to where you were working in the studio and 
I, I was able to see the sketches of what we were going to be wearing. I had no idea what my character was going to be wearing in the movie. And working with you and seeing these sketches and seeing how it was all going to come together, it, that really is what started to spark my ideas for Bernardo. And then I remember also when we were shooting uh, the whole America sequence, it was just, um, I, we were doing it during the, a major heat wave. And I remember we had to like cancel two of the shoots, but I, it was just crazy to see all those costumes and all those performers out there at 105 degree weather dancing. Um, it says a lot about the costumes too, how comfortable it was for the performers to wear, because that's the hard thing about costume designing, especially when you're making a, a movie musical, is that you have to find this balance of realism, but also comfort for dancers to be able to move and, and flow in. And, I think, I think you found such an incredible uh, balance between realism and comfort for, for us dancers in the movie. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of my focus is on function and making sure that uh, performers can do everything that they need to do while still being reflective of the characters. It was so inspiring though, you know, all of the, the, the beautiful energy and the fact that you guys always hit your mark. I mean, it was just breathtaking days, you know, to uh, be on set with you guys. What's one thing that people might be surprised about costume designing? <laughs> um, uh, it's not glamorous, <laughs> but I don't know if anybody would be surprised. <laughs> I think that uh, the thought process that goes into costumes, uh, many people would be surprised. In making one choice, it's informed by the idea of what's come before it. You know, what, what, what is the story that has happened before this moment that we're actually uh, designing for? And how can, you know, the choices that I make as a costume designer underscore the character's overall story and then, and then arc uh, within, the, within the film? What preparation came in for for West Side Story and how were you inspired by the original one when costume designing for this one or were you not thinking about the original? A huge amount of preparation went into uh, making, you know, d developing the costume design for West Side Story. I already knew the uh, original film and I knew the costume design from the original Broadway show. It was designed by the same person originally and I, I loved that design. When I was asked to uh, design West Side Story by Steven Spielberg. I found it really daunting to think about uh, reconsidering, re-envisioning uh, what that world might have been because I, I felt like it was perfect for that film. But I needed to set aside that idea so that I could develop my own vision and have that vision be reflective of what Steven was asking for. When, when was it that you knew Anita's dress was going to be yellow for America. <laughs> I uh, and, and that's a big one, you know, and that and that's directly reflective of how I feel about the original design uh, by Irene Sheriff. You know, that purple dress is so iconic, and it's so iconic for Rita Moreno. I knew that I needed to come up with a vision for Ariana DeBose as Anita uh, that would be just as iconic. Um, and uh, so I was thinking about color. I thought, I thought a lot about color and how that uh, would play a part. And you know, I was also developing the color palette for the, the overall film. And when I decided that the sharks would be reflective of where they had come from, be reflective of the Latinx communities that they migrated from, you know, the, the, the tropical uh, color palette and style and, you know, the, the flower patterns and, you know, the, the more kind of curvilinear, organic uh, quality that, that uh, they carried with them. I then knew that whatever color I put Anita in for that number needs to feel very much at home, but also pull a lot of attention because we were gonna be in the, you know, in the streets of New York, surrounded by buildings and surrounded by huge numbers of people. And, you know, I think that it was very successful that, she, you know, you, you always can find her within, you know, any of the spaces that you both traveled in. I'm so happy with how, you know, how it turned out with reflecting your love story, you know, the, the Bernardo Anita love story. You become, as Bernardo, very heroic with your black and red and, and, and light 
pleated pants. And then she, you know, she's very much, you know, just radiant, underscoring this kind of a vitality of spirit that she uh, emanates. That worked out so well uh, within then everyone else and, and how you related to everyone else. Yeah, it, I mean, the costumes were beautiful and it, and it was such an honor to work with you, Paul. Really, thank you. Absolutely, it was a great honor to work with you, David.